Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Katrina. Uh, welcome if you're new. I would love it if you would subscribe. Uh, today I am at Ikea. So I don't know if you can kind of see it behind me there. Um, but we're going to go shopping and I'm going to bring you guys along. I was super tempted to buy this. It's so cute, but I have to concentrate on the things that I need. How are you doing? Are you shopping? weakness for baskets. I must resist. <laughs> from Ikea and I thought I would show you the items that I bought and also a couple other items that I didn't buy on this trip but that I've bought in past times at Ikea and just love. So I actually got two plants. I don't know if you can tell. One of these is fake and one of them is real. Which one? Which one do you think is real? This one here. So this is the real one. Um, I got this one because it only needs uh, partial sun and I don't get a lot of sun um, well, I don't have a lot of windows in uh, the trailer here that get a lot of sun, so I needed a plant that won't die as easily as some of my other ones. So I got this one. <clears throat> that was $4. And then this one here, this one's actually a fake plant. I thought that it looked pretty real. I don't usually buy fake plants, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to try buying a fake plant because I like to put some plants in spots that just don't get enough sun in the trailer. So hopefully having one of these means that it won't die. If this dies, then I, I give up. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that everyone who shops at Ikea buys candles. I mean, why else would you go to Ikea, right? <laughs> so, especially tea lights. They have amazing prices on tea lights. Um, I still have some, so I didn't buy tea lights. But I did get uh, this candle. This is like one of the vanilla ones. Mm, classic. Everybody has to have one of these. But since I already have one of those, I thought, let's switch it up and get some other flavors. Um, they don't say on them what they are, but they have a picture. So, I don't know what you would consider this coffee cake, uh, pecan something, I don't know, it's really good smelling. Not too overpowering, kind of a little bit of a cinnamon smell to it. And then like an apple pear one. I know that's maybe kind of a fall kind of scent, but it has no like, it's not like cinnamon smelling or anything, so it's more of a spring kind of scent, even though the picture kind of makes you think of fall. Um, okay, so I have already started sleeping on it, but I did buy myself a new down-filled pillow when I was at Ikea. I absolutely love their pillows. Um, I had one for, I don't know, the last 10 years maybe that I've been sleeping on, so it was time to replace it. Um, I actually did replace it last time and the time before I went to Ikea, uh, and then somehow it became my husband's. So, uh, I needed another one again. <laughs> So I'm very, very happy to have this pillow. Like, they're they're so comfy, and, like, they're only 20-something bucks, depending on, like, size and whatever, but I think they're fantastic. Okay, so it's soon going to be really clear that I really like their pillows, okay? I got a little carried away. I know, I know. So I have put cases on these already. I found uh, the inserts there of the feather-filled pillows for $8. I thought that was pretty good. Then I went to the clearance section, and they were $4. So I was going to buy two at $8 a piece, and instead I bought four at $4 a piece. So I know I spent the same amount of money, but, but I also found clearance pillowcases, and so I did save money, <laughs> at least on something. So this is the tags from the pillow, so you can see, four bucks a piece. Not bad, right? I mean, where else are you going to get down-filled inserts for pillows for four dollars. So I have the tags for the other ones because that way I can remember the prices for them so I just have to double check them. Okay so the black one that I was showing you here this case is $2.50. I thought that was pretty good. Then this one I got like a tan colored one that was five dollars and I got this teal colored one and it was a dollar. A dollar! You can't go wrong with a dollar. And this one here I realize this is not spring looking in any way but I will probably pack it away, at least the cover of it, and use it in the fall, winter type thing. Um, this one, this one was six fifty, so it was more expensive. But I really liked it. I thought that that was really pretty, and like I can put them together to have kind of Christmas themed pillows in the future. So that will be nice. Mostly, I wanted the inserts so that I can buy other pillowcases and just like switch them up but like one like this i mean this color it's gonna go with everything so i'm trying to do a little bit of like a refresh on my bedroom um which is actually where i'm standing right now um i'll show you this is this here is the duvet cover i have right now so i've had that duvet cover forever and it just it was time for a new one so i was happy with this one it's nothing like super out there um, but it's just kind of a gray color. I figured it would match with everything and then I can use pillows and I have a homemade quilt that my mother-in-law made and a few other accent type things that I can use with it to kind of make it look pretty. Okay, so these last items I didn't buy today, but they are items that um, I bought in the past and I absolutely love. So one is this cheese grater. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal. Um, but it's so nice to have something that grates right into the bowl. So you've got the two different sizes. And you just pop them on there. And then if you have leftovers, you just put the lid on. Works great. This lid doesn't fit the best, but I love it enough that it doesn't matter. Um, this gets used probably almost daily. <laughs> Dish brushes. I love their dish brushes. They have the suction cup on the bottom. But I don't know, they're just like nice and firm bristles on them and I buy them every time or at least every time that I need. And then this thing here, um, kind of a basket. I use it as a laundry basket for my little guy as well as uh, his bath. <laughs> so 
I live in a small place, I need to, um, you know, use the same things twice so that I don't have double the amount of things sitting around. So, I think that that's everything that I got from Ikea. Um, I would have, of course, loved to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars, um, but I refrained and I bought the things that I went for. Um, I will show you in another video um, when I get that duvet cover onto the bed and how it all kind of comes together. Um, I'll probably do a couple other things to kind of refresh the room as well. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this style of video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please do subscribe. I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye!